Hello again, time for another project. Today we're going to do a bit of scroll saw work with this MDF. Purchased from your local DIY, comes in great big limbs, cut off what you need, no problem. Find yourself a stencil template. Today I'm going to do this guy fishing out the boat. That's basically going to be stuck straight onto there, like so. Before and using our painter's tape, line all that first, spray on some glue and then stick that to it and then when it's all cut out it's a lot easier to peel off the blue tape and then trying to scrape off the paper itself. Now once it's finally cut out hopefully we'll stick it onto this backing board which is again just DIY stuff, shelving wood. The only reason I'm using this piece is because it's got a nasty hole just so and I'm hoping to put that on there and we'll cover that up with this MDF black section here. Once that's stuck on there like so we need to drill pilot holes in all the white sections just allow us to feed the blade off the uh, scroll saw. So we'll stick this on here first Right, we've got that all stuck down nicely. We've drilled our little pilot holes, as you can see. Like so. Personally, I prefer what they call a pin blade. But unfortunately, without making too big a hole, that's not going to fit through there. And these ones just might be just a little bit tight. So you're going to have to use what they call pinless blades. Now my machines are old, mine basically fastens to a bracket like that with an allen key. I have to feed that under the scroll saw, put this one on the top of the blade, tighten it up again with an allen key and clip them on like that. It's a really pain to be honest, but my machines are old. But once you get into the swing of it, you're good to go. So yes, you could have built, drilled a bigger hole there and fed that through. But also the size of the blade counts, right thinness compared with that one from that one to there. That's my finished blade. So I'm going to have to go for the pinless blade and just mess about a bit more. Right, let's get this set up and we'll start cutting this out. Right, we're all set up. Let's start cutting this out. I'll just show you little sections of this because it, it gets too boring. We've all seen these working before. It's been a while, so bear with me. Right, we've got that cut out. First of all, I want to apologise for the lighting in my little shed. I'm working off one little spotlight here. It's only three o'clock in the afternoon and in the UK it's coming in dark already. So, but we're be we'll have a better look in daylight. But that one's finished. We just peel the tape off now. And work on our mounting board. Right, I've removed the paper, 
come off nice and easy. Give it a light little sanding and paper. Just get release, release these little bits that are sticking about. Now we're going to paint that black. I've changed the wood. Because where the oil was on the other one, if you remember, it was running that way. And the grain just didn't look right. I quite like the idea of this grain running from left to right. And we can incorporate that to give it the effect in the water. So I'll paint that black first and then we'll cut out this outer circle. Put it together hopefully. I'm going to put a bit of linseed oil on that backing board just to make that grain pop out a little bit more. Then we'll stick that down and hopefully we should be good to go. Let's throw some black on first. The paint I'm going to use is just, uh, just satin black. Make sure you get right into these side bits down here. Right, that's our backing board complete. Nicely done. What you have done is routed a little slit in there. Because the wood's about an inch thick. So you can go three quarters of an inch. And that's plenty to hang this on the wall with. It's only quite a small piece. I would have liked to have gone slightly wider with this. But unfortunately that's the maximum width of my wood. So we use what we've got kind of thing. I'm going to throw some linseed oil on that. Just to darken this down a little bit. So I'll throw that on now and then we can basically put it together. Right, that's all nicely dried now. We've had our linseed oil on. Make sure you keep the mark to the top, like so. Now there's a couple of options how to stick our scroll saw bit to this. You could super glue at the back, stick that to it, you're good to go. At one time I was gonna put resin over that, stick this down and then put resin over the top. But for this one, I'm just gonna put some clear gloss varnish on cover the whole thing while it's still tacky get that in place and stick that on and then i put a bit of weight on it just keep it all flat and then once it's nicely dry hopefully we will go over the top again with this and this is a little project finished so let's put our varnish on first and hopefully this will stick to it Okay, we've got our varnish all on now. That's hopefully nice and sticky. So now all we've got to do is stick this down, put a bit of weight on, and then we'll come back once it's dried. Get it as central as you can. You will get a bit of movement you're allowed to play with. Let's go for it. to play about there and that looks central enough to me yeah that's it we'll leave that for now and just let it dry and we'll put another coating on top okay that project's finished now it stuck nicely to the varnish and then I re-varnished it all again personally I think it might just be a little bit too shiny for me But you can see what we're going for. Nice good chunk. That's ready to go up on the wall. Thank you very much for watching. A little scroll saw project. Man fishing from a boat. Thank you very much.